Coronavirus, turning the panic page. I'll explain what that means. Anyway, let's get into it. So this is kind of a follow-on to the uh, coronavirus video I already made. Like I said, I do occasionally go to the store to you know, buy some supplies or whatnot and kind of try to gauge exactly how the whole panic situation is going. And uh, so I just got back from there actually right now, and I have to say it seems to be going pretty well. So I was able to buy some toilet paper even. I mean, they didn't have any of the big packs. It was just like some small little four-pack things, some... Uh, some off-brand that apparently doesn't even, like, put their company logo on the package, so, you know, I mean, it's gonna work, but it's, you know, not the high-end stuff, but it was there, I was able to buy it, walk over to the soup aisle, and, you know, the soup is, was definitely, you know, a bit picked through, but it, there was more soup there today than there was, uh, the past couple of times that I went there, although maybe that was partially... Uh, maybe I went there a little earlier in the morning, who knows, or right after the trucks came. But anyway, it seems like people are not panicking as much about this. So when the uh, virus uh, panic or whatever started, I think a lot of people were like, oh no, how bad could this be? How bad is this going to get? And they were kind of assuming the worst. And, you know, obviously that caused the panic, but now that we've been in it, in this quarantine situation for a couple of weeks, I think people have just kind of, and people have seen that, you know, okay, the stores aren't completely selling out of everything, and you know, a lot of the panic is, you know, unnecessary. Now I think people are kind of, kind of getting into the swing of it, kind of getting used to the, the new normal, is a, I guess a way to put it. They're getting used to, you know, the new situation we are in, they are realizing that a lot of the panic, they don't need to actually panic about a lot of the stuff they do. I mean, sure, they're not, you know, uh, doing the stupid stuff they are, you know, still doing everything they need to to avoid the virus, but it's just kind of like, it becomes almost second nature instead of uh, actually some being some new novel uh Thing to be you know scared of and you know the unknown uh, there the unknown has been uh removed i mean when it first hit you know no one knew exactly where we got where we were going to end up what all was going to happen what our lives are going to be like whatever now that we are actually in it and we've gotten used to it the unknown is gone so i think that's kind of like reducing a lot of the a lot of the panic and a lot of the fear and Things are actually going a lot smoother now. I know, uh, I can only speak for my region. My region isn't one of the hardest to hit. I'm not, obviously, I am not in New York City. I can't speak for how things are going on in there. I think they've been getting hit pretty bad. But, yeah, I think, uh, I think we have kind of turned, as far as the panic. Now, I am not a medical professional. I can't really say anything about, like, where we are exactly in fighting the virus itself, but as far as people's lifestyles and the panic, I think people have largely just kind of come to realize what is, uh, what they can expect, what is expected of them, and as far as the panic goes, we have turned the page, and, uh, I think that's a great thing. So, while I was at the store, I actually saw a, uh, woman, she was wearing a mask, like, you know, like it's a good idea but she had actually taken the time to i don't know like sew sequins on it or bedazzle it or whatever so it was like a really fashionable mask and it's just like yeah that's kind of kind of shows the sign of uh, where we are right now sure we're taking the precautions but it's just kind of it's just kind of part of our lifestyle now instead of a uh, some boogeyman interjecting itself into our lifestyle we're just kind of like learning to live around it so that is excellent so but what this is also doing since we have a lot of people that are the panic is subsided and i think it's subsided a lot sooner than a lot of people were uh thinking you know obviously I'm, like i said i'm still talking about the panic here not the disease itself that's something different since the panic is subsided a lot sooner and we have a lot of people sitting around with lots of free time i think uh I think uh, certain elements in our government are kind of thinking like, oh shit, we were we were supposed to use this panic to to try to sell out more 
more of your rights and everything. And then everyone's kind of got the free time and lack of panic and uh, the vision to actually like look at our government and be like, hey government, you're, you're handling this pretty crappily. What's going on here? It's like, oh, oh, that's a pretty nice bailout, you know, if I were a billion dollar corporation. And now, oh, okay, so crumbs for the little guy. And uh, <laughs> I'm not really a political channel too much, but I do have you know, my political views. I think they they are kind of like looking at this and being like, oh, uh, 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 citizen, you were supposed to be distracted by this shiny new virus while we were doing this. What's going on here? So that's kind of my political take on this. But yeah, it's good that we are waking up to it. Bad that they are doing it. Although I'm curious as to exactly how much we can actually do about it, which is a completely different issue, but yeah, there we go. Anyway, let's end this with, you know, a good thing. It looks like the panic, not the disease itself, but the panic around it has subsided. That is great. Screw the government. Damn bastards. Anyway, till next time, later.